good question. I think I think it is scary, but um, I found I found comfort in friends and family. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, this is a moment of flux that we're in, but it won't last forever. We don't know how long it will last, but it will not last forever. And you can already see how resourceful human beings have been about this. I think we need to have more conversations like this and we need to actually put them out there. Um, we need to allow for individuals to expose the ideas, allow individuals to share what they're doing, but also allow for individuals to actually do what they're doing and do their ideas and put them into material form. We're all being forced to do it and it's like, oh, it's actually like a way for us to say, what do we want our lives to look like? Do we have to work nine to five? Maybe they will figure out more creative way, you know, how to do the, like HR, like, you know, like for example, like, you know, there are many Korean women, there are so many talented gifted yeah. Korean women. You know, then I realized that a lot of this perspective came from 2008, 2009, when I was just getting started, right? That's when I finished my PhD. It was a time when no one was getting fancy office space and stuff like that. So it's just kind of like, you know, like just keeping, there, there's something really smart and attractive about keeping overhead low. Um, I received so many thank you notes from uh, leaders, from teams. Um, so I took those and I printed them and I posted them around the tech uh, team, I told them every time you feel tired, just look at how thankful people are. In terms of uh, create more than you consume, so like now, what we've, what I've seen people do is like they're doing like live DJ sets online, they're kind of working on music as well. This pandemic has been phenomenal for building family relationships and friend relationships. I think is my 21 year old, she, she's back from college, so she's home now. She came up with a home economics curriculum. She uh, made a list of how do I sew a button? How do I hem pants? I love the fact that everybody's coming together. How do I change a tire? How do I make, I don't know, you know, Greek pasta? Go to that will allow you to be recentered. And sometimes when you're in uh, times of uncertainty, you lose your center. Leadership or stillness. This is exactly how meditation works. You take away every single distraction and then you have to do very little. And then you have a lot of space to reflect what is really essential and what is a nice fact. Right, you lose your core. And so because you're not centered, you're unmoored. You're like a boat who's unmoored and you're just kind of floating around. And so what are the things that that, that anchor you, right? Um, and so I have a happy list and I, I revisit those things um, now and again. And don't get me wrong, I'm not the best at it, but I do revisit those things now and again. And some of the things that I talk about, but, you know, playing the piano is definitely one for me. What is core to your business and what is superfluous? You know? What product are you known for and what are you not known for? And he, peace be upon him, said, count your blessings and be grateful for what you have. That's the first thing, gratitude. So gratitude goes a long way. A big disaster will shake people's consciousness and I hope that help us to, uh, to really um, trigger our humanity in a way. In Thinking, oh my goodness, having contingency plans <clears throat> is so important. I'm not gonna stay inside and just like watch Netflix all day. I'm gonna try to like do more with my life. Getting more creative with um, how we are able to communicate in case something like this yeah. does happen again. And you evaluate. You, you evaluate, that's the, you, that's you appreciate, oh. that's the word. Because there are, um, with my job especially, there are times where we'll be closed for snow. You have a tremendous value to offer and if you can help people, it's your responsibility to do so. I also think about helping others always makes you feel better and takes you away from your own worries. So anything you can do to help people at this point in time, one, it's needed and it's great for them, but it will help you. Five. Okay. Sounds Under good. permission. Okay. Permission granted. One thing I would say is to still be careful of the health advice to make sure what you're doing to help people isn't actually spreading this. Because I know there have been some cases where people's intentions are brilliant, 
then they're going into other people's homes and it's like so think about it and maybe link in with other non-profits to see what they're doing and what help is um uh think of yourself as like a car and if your gas levels are going low what 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 do you identify as your fueling station what are the things that you do um that that will help to infuse that positivity into you do not socially isolate yourself Social distancing and social isolation are two very big words. And how we as humans across the board can set aside everything and say, okay, cool, we are all going to work together um, to do this. And I'm hoping that even some of the norms that we started creating now for our like digital collaboration, like for example, one of my team members, she was like, every time she jumps on a call, her son now is in the house and he he says, oh, like, oh, you see, he gets excited. Making a deliberate effort because we're full virtual, just to, like communicate to them that I am very thankful for the work you're putting in. I'm very thankful for this and all this other stuff. Our minds on so many ideas, like, for example, do we need to do a digital hackathon? Do we need to do a digital accelerator? You got your paintings? Uh, yeah, I got one because the other one I can't find some. Anyway, um, I tried to land this. So, I'm going to draw another landscape. Sorry, I I'm think I talked too much. No, you're good. Uh, reading, fiction, keeps me sane, very therapeutic. Um, and also that, that this was a time when, you know, we actually, that was a time we actually really got to know each other. Different. Do I get online with the right people to talk or call people to talk? In fact, The first one. Okay, so I, I can say. I love the birds in the background. They're participating there. <laughs> I can hear it all the way here. I, I, it's funny that you say that because you're thinking about that, and I'm trying. I'm thinking like. <laughs> I love it.